hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to prepare sponge gourd with chickpea lentils that is called chana dal in hindi and sponge gourd is called turai or tori in hindi it's really very delicious to eat with roti chapati paratha and boiled rice as well so let's see the recipe here for this recipe i have taken some chana dal that means chickpea lentils and i soaked them for 3 hours you may soak them overnight and after 3 hours i have washed them properly and now to boil them we need a pressure cooker and now i am adding the lentils into the cooker now we have to add some water into it i took about something less than half cup of chickpea lentils here and now i am adding about 1/4 teaspoon of salt now we have to cover the pressure cooker and cook the lentils for about 10 to 12 minutes on medium heat so let's put the pressure cooker on heat and after that we'll remove the lid here you can see friends i have taken three spawns gourds now we have to peel them off and after peeling off we'll wash them properly and after washing we'll cut them actually i'm thinking that three spawns gourds won't be enough for half cup of lentils so i'm going to add one more I mean four sponge gourds I'm going to take. Here I have peeled off the sponge gourd as you can see. So let's peel off all of them and after peeling off we'll wash them properly and after washing we'll cut them. Here all of them are ready. I'm showing you four sponge gourds I have taken. Now we'll wash them. and after washing properly i'll cut them into pieces i'm removing a little damaged part you may cut them into your favorite shapes and sizes there is no problem i'm cutting them this way as you can see Here they are. I'm taking them into a bowl, and all are ready, as you can see. And now we have to cut some onions, some tomatoes, and some garlics. And here they are ready. I have cut two medium-sized onions, five to six garlic cloves, and two medium-sized tomatoes. You may crush the garlic cloves. There is no problem. And on the other side, the lentils are ready. I'm showing you. I am removing the lid. Here it is. The lentils are cooked very nicely, but they are not mashed, as you can see. And we actually need exactly this texture. We don't have to mash them, but we have to cook them hundred percent. Now let's keep it aside and go for the pan. I have taken a frying pan on induction, and now I am adding some cooking oil. You may take a curry pan instead there's no problem now we'll let the oil heat well and after that we'll add half teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of mustard seeds we have to let everything crackle well and after that we'll add onion here now i'm adding the two onions finely chopped we have to fry them until the transparent color and after that we'll add the garlics now i'm adding the garlics here after adding garlics we have to wait for 2 to 3 minutes and after that we have to add the tomatoes after 2 to 3 minutes i'm adding the tomatoes here and after adding tomatoes we have to add some masala that means spices so at first i am adding salt to taste we have to remember that we added salt with the chickpea lentils now i am adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of coriander powder and half teaspoon of red chili powder according to taste now i am adding 1 teaspoon of kanda lasun masala it's actually a maharashtrian spices mixture that is available in maharashtra only if it's not available near you then skip it there's no problem and at the end of the recipe we'll add some garam masala now we have to add some water here 
because the spices are looking very dry to me so I am adding some water and now I will cover the pan and keep the heat on medium and wait until the oil is released from the spices and the tomatoes are very nicely soft and now as you can see the oil is released and the tomatoes are soft I am showing you they are being mashed very nicely as you can see so now it's time to add the tori that means spawns goat here I am adding the veggies here now we have to mix everything properly with our spatula we have to mix the veggies with the spices very nicely and after that we will cover the pan in between we have to uncover the pan stir the veggies very nicely to avoid burning from the bottom actually we need about 4 to 5 minutes to cook the sponge goats very nicely 100% so now I am covering it again and after 4 to 5 minutes they are cooked fully I am stirring the veggies very nicely and now we have to add the chana dal that means boiled chickpea lentils I have removed them into a plate here it is and now I am adding it along with the water of course now we have to mix everything properly and after mixing we have to add some garam masala at the end first I am mixing it now I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala and about half teaspoon of sugar this quantity of sugar will balance the sourness of the tomatoes but if you don't like you may skip it there is no problem now I am going to cook again for 1 to 2 minutes and after that our curry will be ready after 2 minutes the curry is ready as you can see you may adjust the thickness of the curry as per your wish but now it's perfect for me so I'm turning the heat off and after serving here is the texture it's looking very delicious friends and it's very delicious to eat also it's really very delicious to eat with roti chapati paratha and boiled rice as well so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience Hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.